guys it's Chris from crafts with Chris and don't you just love that card so we're gonna make that card today so for your cardstock what you will need is a piece of cherry cobbler this is cut a two size so it's five and a half by eight and a half fold at four and a quarter you also will need a piece of whisper white this one here is cut five and a quarter by four you will also need two pieces of soft sea foam this piece here is cut two by four this is just a scrap piece. You're gonna need it big enough to cut out with the um, stitch shape rectangle. We're gonna use this rectangle. And you also will need a piece of the Come Together Designer Series paper. This piece here is cut five and a quarter by four. So the stamp set today that we are using is called Gather Together. And this is new out of the holiday catalog. So we're gonna use this stamp out of here and we're gonna use Wishing You Well. With this stamp set, there is also dies that coordinate with it, and you can purchase them. They will be 10% off if you purchase them together. We're gonna use these three leaves out of here. I already created these leaves in a previous video. So I'm gonna leave the link to that video up in the right-hand corner so you can learn how to do this. I just used the shimmery white paper and the pigment sprinkles to create these leaves. For our inks today, we will be using Cherry Cobbler and Versamark. So I'm bringing in both my inks. I'm using Cherry Cobbler and Versamark. Also using my foam mat. It's a stamp set is photopolymer, so I want a good stamped image. So I'm gonna take the scrap piece first and I'm going to use Wishing You Well, and I'm going to ink that up with the Cherry Cobbler. And remember, we're cutting this out. So this one here is going to have Versamark. So I'm going to use the Emboss Buddy. And I'm going to take the that kind of looks like pebbles. And I'm just going to just ink this just randomly on a soft seafoam cardstock. I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of paper. And I'm going to bring in my silver emboss powder. And then we're just going to go ahead and heat emboss that. So once you have embossed that, you wanna go ahead and set that aside. Um, I've already cut out wishing you well. So if you haven't done that, use your die cutting machine to do that. And then we're gonna bring in the um, rest of our cardstock and we're gonna to start to assemble this. So you just wanna go ahead and fold your card base in half. We're gonna go ahead and put our designer series paper on. You can use whatever kind of adhesive you have. When we put this on, we're gonna kind of offset it so you're going to want to bring it over close to the edge you have more of your cherry cobbler showing here this piece here i'm going to take my paper snips and i'm just going to go along the edge just to rough it up and i'm going to do that on all of the edges here and um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and anchor that down to the front of our card. So when we go ahead and anchor this down, we're gonna anchor it down towards the left-hand side, and you're gonna leave just a little bit of this designer series paper showing. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and bring in our leaves, and I use three of them. So I'm just gonna apply these leaves on my card with my dimensionals. Love the way that they look. So pretty. Then we're gonna bring in Wishing You Well. It's gonna go over here, but before we anchor that down, I'm bringing in the silver metallic thread and I'm gonna put that behind my um, saying here. What I'm gonna do is just wrap this around my fingers um, a few times, maybe five or six loops, seven loops, something like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pinch the center of it. Then I'm going to take my paper snips and just cut that. I'm going to bring in my glue dots, and I'm going to pick up a dot. I'm going to flip this over, put the dot kind of in the middle, and I'm going to put my twine right on that glue dot. And once you have your glue dot on, then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to put some um, snail adhesive. You can put more glue dots on here, and then I'm just going to apply it to the front here. I'm going to go off a little like that and then I'll just trim off this excess and the last thing we're gonna do is bring in our piece of whisper white and we're gonna glue that on the inside of your card so it just finishes it off and you have a place to write that's all to that card so I hope you guys enjoyed 
please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I also would love to hear from you in the comments. And don't forget to share this video with your friends so they can make this card. Please subscribe below and don't forget to ring that bell. I also offer a newsletter that I would love for you to sign up for. You will get 30 free card ideas just for signing up. Thanks for watching.